You have the bridge, number one. Hey, so I'm going to show you today how to put together your HTC Vive Pro wireless adapter together. The instructions I found weren't very clear, but I'm hopefully going to show you how to put it together and have some fun. So let's first make sure you have everything that you need. First, you're going to make sure you have your wireless adapter, your cable, the new cushion, the cradle, and of course, the helmet. There is a button on the bottom of the helmet that you will use to pull the visor forward. This allows you to access the compartment that holds the cable. But before we get to that, we're going to first remove the facial cushion held there by a sort of Velcro. You're just going to, with caution, because it's a very expensive device, remove that and place it to one side. Now, the next thing we're going to do is remove the compartment. It does require a little bit of force, which is scary considering this is an expensive device, but I promise you it is built to withstand this slight force. So what you're going to do is go to the very corner where the cable goes in. You're going to get it by the corner and you're going to start peeling and pushing away from you as you peel. Keep peeling and pushing away from yourself. I must admit, I have very weak hands, so there we go. Zooming in and out it comes. As you can see, there are some slight stress marks, so I would not want to keep repeating this. So I would not recommend going wireless and wired over and over because I do believe that it would break over time. Now you want to remove the cable just pull it out and replace with the new shorter Vive wireless cable. You need to put a little bit of force to put it in. It's a very tight fit. Once you have it in, you are going to wrap this cable. You're going to go around on the inside of the helmet. You're going to want to go down, kind of just numbs it in there. You press it in. Now we're going to replace the compartment now that the cable is in and secure. I'm gonna go grab that. Anyway, so you're gonna to wanna to press the compartment in. I wanna wiggle this cable a little bit and make sure it's in securely. Otherwise this is just gonna fall out or be an issue. You're gonna to wanna to hear some little clicks, some little pops and just make sure it's all pressed down nicely. Now we're going to replace the facial cushion. This is very easy. You see that in the center there, there's like a little hole. On your facial cushion, you'll notice there's like a little bump. So you just want to actually <laughs> put the little bump in there and it will line it up for you. So you don't have to worry about lining it up at all. Okay, now we're going to remove the back head cushion. Peel it off. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get the new cushion. Just line it up until you feel comfortable with it. It actually looks like a penis. I just had to point that out. I'm a child. Never going to grow up. Anyway, so once it's in, you feel that it's correctly lined up. And it is to your satisfaction. Now we're going to remove the old cradle from the wireless. So just undo this little Velcro strap here. And now you're going to have to find the teeniest, tiniest of 
screwdrivers ever. If you don't have these, you can easily find them in pretty much any dollar store. They would usually be for glasses repairs. So you can get those there. Anyway, so you're gonna remove these screws. They're absolutely tiny, but they come out very easy. It doesn't look like they're screwed in very tight. I'm just clumsy. So when you've removed this, uh, you're going to put the new one on. The screws are already in there. You don't have to use the screws from the other cradle. You're just gonna undo the Velcro, place it in, and you're just going to screw it. And remember not to screw too tightly. I should have mentioned before that you don't want to force this if you don't have the right screw and you don't see it going anywhere, don't force it because if you strip the screw, you may find yourself unable to remove this and you are in just a new different level of trouble. Anyway, so once you've put the new cradle onto your wireless device, you are now going to attach it to your helmet it's actually easier to tighten it turning upside down I found you really do want to make sure this is really secure because you do not want this lovely little device flying off and smashing into a wall being the new Wii remotes smashing into a TV they're pretty much a TV in themselves with the price. All right, so now that it's attached, you are going to plug in the little HDMI thingy, or is it DPI, I don't even know. Plug that in, and there we go. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the cable as you see fit. And there we go. And this is the USB cable that I completely forgot to mention earlier. This is for the battery. And let me just get that out. You will plug this into the USB port of the Vive on the back, as you can see, and the other side into the battery pack. And you are finally all set up. And that is how you put the wireless adapter together for the Vive. Now, the next part. I never actually found this in any of the instructions or any of the notes. But this little device actually sort of seems to work like another base station. It needs to be able to see the helmet, otherwise you're going to get the gray screen and disconnects all the time. I have mine placed about shoulder level, tilted upwards, and I find that I get absolutely no issues with this. So I highly recommend that you make sure that your little device is able to see you as well as being close by. This is all for the physical put together of the HTC Vive setup. I will soon be putting together a guide of how to actually place the card within the computer for those who may not be comfortable doing it and may need a little bit of help in that area. I hope this helped anyway. And I hope you have fun with your new wireless gaming experience. Anais, playing games badly so you don't have to.